Hi and welcome to another five minute session and this time about the rotate node. So first of all we need to find it and that you do by going to shift A and then select vector and in vector you have vector rotate. So take that one out and we need some input from the texture coordinate. So shift A input texture coordinate and now we have that one. We can take the object to the vector and then we need some texture to see everything. So I press shift A again, texture, and I can select the checker texture since that is the most simple one and put the color to the base color and the vector to the vector. And right now, if I start moving the angle here, you can see that it rotates. Uh, as it rotates in this axis, that is depending on the numbers here and if we have one in the z-axis it will rotate in the z-axis if we have one in the x-axis it will rotate in the x-axis and uh, since we now have a plane it's hard to see if we had a cube it should be rotating in this direction here and then we have the y-axis in the center here uh, so if we put one here and zero here that will be the y-axis and then it would rotate here for the cube but now I'm just working with the plane because it's easier to show you and it's right now rotating in the center as you can see and that is because we are working with object and object is as you remember from earlier sessions uh, center placed from the beginning if we use the UV instead on this plane and then try to change the angle you will see it changes position so now it rotates from this point here since a plane in the fourth is zero to one and then we have the center for the plane in this corner here and then we got this rotation that is simple to change we don't have to do the math here we can just change the center here so if we change this to 0 0.5 then the rotation now will then be in the center because now we have moved the UV to be in 0 0.5 position as normally we do with math here but now we just change the center and then we can just rotate it like this so it's rather easy to use we have different types here we can also set that it should rotate around the z-axis or the y-axis it's the same way you can then change it down here you can also invert it so it goes in another direction but there is one little thing that could be trapped for you so let's say that you need some input to this and now we have these 45 degrees so we just write 45 degrees and now i do an input so i press shift a input uh, select value and i write 45 degrees here and then i take this one into angle and it changed this is not 45 degrees and if you change this go from zero you move it a little bit you can see it rotates very very fast normally it should not rotate one lap until you reach 360 but this rotates really really fast and that is because as soon as you put something in this blender expects this to be radians and not degrees so we need to do a transform between the input and the result here. So the easiest way to do that is just to go to Shift A again and convert the, uh, select the math node. And in the math node, you will find in the right corner two radians. So just select two radians, put that in. And we can put 45 degrees here, so you can see. Then two radians, and then radius to angle. And you can see no change so 45 degrees here 45 degrees here and the texture does not move so right now when we put in something everything will work and now you can see it goes much much more slow when we change the value here so now it's as expected so always when you are using this in a group or if you need some input or whatever you do it's always in radius if you don't put it in directly here so as soon as you go from the outside in, remember radians. And that is all there is about the rotate. And this is something that I think 
came to Blender in 2.8. So before that you had to build your rotate by yourself using cosine and sine. But we don't have to go through that since the five minutes has gone now. And now you know a little bit about vector rotate. So hopefully you learned something today. And I see you tomorrow. And just say bye for now.